Hi there. Baba stock has declined again. People were expecting an increase in their earnings for the last quarter, and that's why the stock price went up so much, over 10% in just a few days. But then, when Baba reported their earnings, the stock price has declined by 7%. And if you believe Alibaba has reported a decline in their earnings of about 77%. And that's huge, quite huge. So what should you do? To sell the stock or buy even more at the current level? The market cap of about 187 billion and the stock price about $73. And pre-market, as you can see, keeps going down. The price is expected to be about $72. Of course, if there are other bad news, the stock price may go down even more. But what are you going to do? Buy more or sell the stock? Maybe you can find better ideas, better investments that can increase a lot in the future. However, if you do like Alibaba, what they're doing, then at the current level, it might be a real bargain. And let me show you why. You see this decline of over 77%. That's quite bad. But you have to ask the question why this happened. Because if you look at the revenue, you can see that it has increased by 6% quarter over quarter from 2022 to 2023. And if you look at all the segments, I mean, their main businesses, e-commerce, China, it has increased by 2%, cloud by 3%, this is a good improvement compared to the previous quarter, and international commerce, a growth rate over 40%, that's quite a lot. Sai now, 24%, local services by 13%, and digital media by 18%. So, how come? The revenue has increased so much for some of their segments, but their net income went down so much, over 77%. Why that? Well, the answer may be quite simple, if you know how to look at their earnings. But you also have to look at what they did in the last quarter. You can see that they did some buybacks of about 3 billion in the last 3 months, and for the last nine months, they used of about 7.7 .7 billion in buybacks. However, the stock price did nothing. It went down even more. But they also announced an increase in the buyback program, which now is about 35 billion. So 35 billion. Compared to the market cap, this is quite a lot. If Alibaba can buy the stock price, I mean, they do the buybacks at the current level of $73, then your return will be quite great, more than 10%. But only if the stock price keeps staying down for a longer period and Alibaba keeps buying back their own shares. Your return will be quite great. Plus, you also add their dividend of about 1.3% or 4%, something like that. The management said that they expect to buy back their own shares of about 3% a year. So they'll use 12 billion for buybacks every year for the next three years. And they expect that they'll buy 3% of the total shares. Because if they use now 12 billion of dollars for buybacks, the stock price will go up and when they want to use the other part of their money, because they have 45 billion left, then the stock price will be higher. So they won't be able to buy so many shares. That's why they expect to decrease the number of shares by about 3% a year. That means that you get 3% from their buybacks, or even more if the stock price stays down for a longer period. But let's say 3%, plus you add a dividend of about one point. 4%, that means your total return a year 
may be around 4.4%. So 4.4%. This is what you get from this level, 4.4%. But don't forget that the stock price will keep going up. As they keep buying more shares, the stock price will rebound. That means you have a dividend of about 4% a year for the next 3 years, plus an appreciation in the stock price. That might go to $200. This can happen. Of course, there is also risk, but $200 can happen. Now, why do I believe this, that the stock price may go to $200? Well, if you look at their free cash flow for the last 3 months and also for the last 9 months, you can see that they made almost 8 billion free cash flow for the last quarter and almost 20 billion for the last 9 months. So 19.8 billion. That's quite a lot. And they still have one quarter. If they keep making more than 5 billion, then the free cash flow may be more than 20 billion a year. And compared to the current market cap of about 187 billion, that's a lot. If they keep growing more, this number, and you apply a multiple higher than 10, then the stock price may go to $200 easily. But this may happen or not. Because when you see those earnings, you may be disappointed. As long as they keep improving their revenue more in the future and some of their businesses become profitable, this net income will rebound, will be higher in the long term. But don't forget, you can grow a tree in just 3 months. It takes more years. So that's why you have to be patient, to wait for an increase in their earnings and revenue and then the stock price will rebound. In the long term. This may happen next year, this year or after 5 years. Nobody knows. But you also have to be aware of the risk. That the revenue may decline even more in the future due to competition, bad economy and other risks. That can happen. That's why you have to be very careful when you invest in a company. Especially in Alibaba. If you do decide to invest in this company, be aware of the risk and size your investment. Don't put all your money or take day to invest in this business because anything can happen. The stock price may decline even more. It might go to $50 or to zero if bad things happen. That's why you have the opportunity. The stock price may more than double from the current level because now it's a bargain, but you also have the downside. Where the risk may be small, but you have to be aware of it. Many things can happen. So to conclude, Alibaba is a bargain at the current level. But it depends on you how much you can wait and endure this huge decline. I mean a stock price that keeps going down, keeps going down a lot. One day may happen this year or next year or who knows, the stock price will rebound. But of course, there is also risk. That's why it's up to you, if you like this business, if you can stand this huge decline and take advantage when the stock price is quite low, a bargain, as it is now. So that's it for this video and if you have other questions, please let me know in the comments.